So here we have problem number three. Uh, we have 1,400 kilogram blue convertible is traveling to south. So we have two cars basically. One is a blue car, which is traveling to the south. Then another is SUV, which is traveling to the west. So both kilograms are given. If the total momentum of the system consisting of two cars is 8,100 kilogram meter per second directed at 45 degree west of south, what is the speed of the blue uh, car? So how can we do it? So let's uh, draw a picture uh, so that it will help us to understand more easily and solve the problems. So basically, if you take the initial position, uh, the the mass one was moving to the south. Okay. Then we have mass two, which is SUV, is moving to the west, and it has. 30 degree, so so let's forget that he is 45 degree. Instead of 45 degree, let's take it as a 30 degree, okay? So west to the south, so west, west to the south will be 30 degree with this one. Uh, the If the momentum of both cars is equal 8,150, 8, then what will be the final, uh, sorry, what will be the initial velocity of the second car which is moving to the west uh, so first of all uh, the total initial initial momentum is given so let's uh, resolve this initial momentum into two components x and y components so p x initial will be uh, p initial multiplied sine 30 degree Okay, so we can plug the numbers, which is 8,150 multiplied sine 30 degrees, we get 4,075, okay. Then what about uh, PY initial? So PY initial is basically P initial multiplied cosine theta, and we can get PY initial. So in the question was asking, what is the uh, initial velocity of the second car? Okay, second car is this one. What is the initial velocity of second car? So therefore, we since we have mass two is moving this way, and we also know initial momentum of the of this one, then what we can do is that initial momentum o, uh, initial momentum x is equal m two v initial two. From there, we have to find v initial two, which is p initial x divided by the mass two. By plugging the numbers, we get v initial two. So this is your answer. You can also find uh, what is a V initial 1 for the mass 1. In that case, uh, you take uh, the Y component. So let me just write it down here. Uh, so if you want to find V initial 1, then obviously you use y component because moving to the in the y direction p y p initial y divided by the m1 so if you do calculate it you can get v initial 1